So, now that you're here, let me ask you, is hell everything you were told it would be? Does it live up to the stories you heard up there? See, it's just like I told you. Heaven wrote the book, literally. And that means they control the PR. They make hell out to be this terrible place. Only the worst people go. Honestly, that's not true. I mean, you're here. You... Well, okay. Yeah, you didn't have to pass on to get here. Kind of took a shortcut, if it's how we want to word it. But still, look around you. All that talk about fire and brimstone and eternal torture. Does this look like the kind of place where that's what's happening? Yeah. It looks just like Earth because... Honestly, it is just like Earth. It's just a different plane of existence. But everyone thinks hell is this terrible place. It's not. I mean, look. Look over there. A family just having fun in the park. A normal thing you'd see on Earth any day of the week. And it's a normal thing you see in hell any day of the week. Alright, yeah. Yeah, some of the worst sinners do end up here. Well, here is sort of a relative term. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, you have people on Earth who commit horrible crimes, and they're sentenced to prison. And prison exists in some parts of... And prison exists in countries all over the world. But that doesn't mean every square foot of every country is populated by the worst criminals imaginable, does it? It's exactly the same thing here. Yes, there are some places where sinners are... Mm. Well, yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. Torture for eternity. But those are only the worst people. And honestly, I don't think it's fair to hold that against hell. We're not the ones who decided to be the land of torture. That was heaven's decision. So so if, if you don't like that, it sounds like you have a bone to pick with heaven. And well, if that's the case... You're going to have to get in line, because a lot of us feel the same way. Well, now that you mention it, I did leave a lot out. I'm sure you can see there's buildings here, and... Right, right. And it functions similar to Earth. There's, there's an economy down here. Grocery stores. I've already seen that park. Well, think of it as... As if Earth existed on a different dimension. This place is not inherently evil, neither are the people here. We've been cast that way. Unfairly. But you will see soon enough. Now, um, I've been gone a little longer than I was supposed to be, and I don't have exactly the bone I was looking for. Not that I regret bringing you along, but I do really need to check in with my supervisor and report on my mission. Rules. Remember, so many rules. I wish this was a place of just chaos and fun. 
It's really, really not. Oh, well, what we're going to do, if you just follow me into this door here, I suppose you'd call him my boss, uh, though I prefer Handler. It's less of a, hmm, it's different than things on Earth. It's similar, but different. Now, if you would be so kind as to wait here for me, plenty of seats. You can take your pick. I promise they're all very comfortable. And I would be going in. Well, hopefully I won't be too long. Um, yes, I should warn you. You may want to keep to yourself. Well, a lot of us are very kind, but not all of us. And you don't know who you can trust. So it would be my recommendation that you avoid any conversations with anyone. Until I get back. I won't be long. I can promise you that much. Oh, don't be so worried, here. Let me give you a little protective... Let me give you a small protection spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, if that's enough to make you blush, you are going to be positively steaming later. But for now, I must go. Be good while I'm gone. Oh? What do we have here? Are you lost, human? I don't see many of your kind down here. Oh, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? You know, it's very rude when you don't speak to someone if you're being spoken to. A girl could get her feelings hurt. You wouldn't want that, would you? Wait. <laughs> you smell familiar. Very familiar. Ah, I see. She couldn't find the dragon bone and brought you instead. I would say that's disappointing, but I'm very excited to get my hands on you. Know her? Her packmates. I know her very well. I know what her mission was. And if I smell her on you, and a human is down here who normally wouldn't be, I mean she brought you. Why is that so surprising? We are hellhounds. Hounds, a type of dog who has a really good sense of smell. And we're part of the same pack. We work together, live together, protect and take care of each other. We share meals together. Share bones together. <laughs> you were talking to me just fine until now. Mm. That's something we can handle later then, dear. So I'm guessing she's in there right now, talking to the boss about the mission. And about you. I will make sure she knows you said that. But hear me out. We're on the same team. We work for the same boss, and we're part of the same pack. I'm on your side, and you can trust me. She does. No, no, no. I won't do anything to you. <laughs> Nothing you won't like, at least. <laughs> you are too cute. Well, 
I was looking for her, so I'm just gonna sit down right here, next to you, and we can wait together. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. Do you miss me that much? Miss you? Nope. <laughs> I'm just looking for the dragon bone you were supposed to bring back with you. And I'm guessing you didn't find it. But you found this cutie instead. <laughs> you are always better at finding things than me. Guess that's why you get the fun missions up there, huh? I would have rather they sent you, and I could have just stayed down here, but... Well, here we are, and, uh... I have some good news. Did you tell him that you brought a human back? Instead of the dragon bone you were sent for? Yes. And he immediately marked the mission as complete. The three of us can head back home. Oh, darling, that was your home. Your home will be with us now. I can't wait. I promise you, you'll enjoy your new home very much. I'll make sure of it. And since you two have had all this time to talk, why don't you lead the way? Then I can get to know our new friend a little better. Well, I guess fair is fair. I have already spent quite a bit of time with you, and she hasn't. All right. It's not like I imagine you would hate to walk behind me and watch me. You better keep up. Oh, I'm very curious. I want to know all about you. I haven't gotten to talk to a human before, but I've always wanted to. No. <laughs> Humans aren't very common around here. Closer to the rehab zone, yeah, but not here. You... You really don't know much about what happens down here, do you? We're only bad in the ways that are so good. <laughs> you turn such a bright shade of red so easily. It's the cutest thing. Okay, you're right. Our bone went missing a while ago. And we really do need to take care of... things. You know why you're here, right? Yup, that's true. Did she tell you exactly? Oh, you're right here. Did you explain exactly what that means? I did not. I thought that perhaps we could give a hands-on experience together. You know, as pack members, as teammates. Hell, it would be a wonderful bonding experience, I'm sure. I hope so. I know I'm really looking forward to it. And human. Are you? Looking forward to it too? <laughs> Good. And here we are. Welcome to home sweet home. Well, I did tell you there's lots of parks down here, didn't I? Oh, we are canine. We need our exercise. What a better place to run than out in the open. Mm. We can go visit the park another time. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah, I am. And I can't wait to get started. Now that we are somewhere private, 
because the three of us, we have some needs to fulfill. Don't be so shy. I mean, it's adorable. But now isn't the time for shy. Now is the time for fun. <laughs> Hello, Comets. Thank you for listening to this video. And I want to give a huge shout out and a massive thank you to my co-star, the lovely Shento. If you have not yet, I highly suggest you go check out her channel. It'll be linked in the description. Shento is a newer VA with an absolutely delicious voice. And I am so happy she agreed to collab with me on this one. And now I kind of envision, and this is just me thinking of what might happen in the future, so don't take this as a guarantee, but the way I see this going, if this series does continue, is that I bring in a different VA in every single episode, slowly introducing the listener to more of the path. In the meantime, thank you again for, for clicking on this video or tapping on it if you're on mobile and just listening, especially if you made it this far into it. Thank you very much. You are amazing. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.